Good morning, guys. Hope you had a great weekend. I did. I had a really restful weekend. I didn't do too much, but just kind of vegged out around my house. So I'm ready to go for this week. Hope you guys are too. Today is Monday, May 4th, 2020. And for you Star Wars fans, may the 4th be with you. All right. So in religion today, we're going to start a new chapter. It's chapter 29 called Jesus Returns to the Father. And for this, you're just going to read pages 140 through 142. All right, and here's a picture of Jesus returning to the Father. We call this the Ascension. It's when Jesus returned back to the Father. Okay, so you're going to read all about it. To them he presented himself alive after his passion by many proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking of the kingdom of God. So this is all about how after Jesus rose from the dead, he came back to earth and spent 40 days with his apostles and disciples before sending them out. So you're just going to be reading today. Okay, for spelling and phonics, you're going to look at your new spelling list. All right, let's take a look at it. And then we'll go through your page you're going to do. These are all long I words. Some of them are spelled um, ways that we've learned before, like the it's one syllable with Y at the end. We know that Y makes the I sound. So we have by, sky. All right. Sometimes it's two syllables. It's usually when it's just that one syllable. But sometimes a lot of these are going to be rule breakers this week. This is reply. So when... I ask you a question, you will reply back to me, okay? Then we have our I consonant E rule, white, like the color white. It's got that W sound. And then quite, this is not quiet, guys. This is quite. I had quite a good time. I've had quite enough of the talking, okay? This is polite. When you use your manners, you are polite. This is quiet. All right, so make sure you're paying attention to these two words. This one, quite, and this is quiet. All right, this is one of those rule breakers. This is the word by. This one is I'm standing by you or my hand is by the list. This one with the U in the middle is when you buy food or buy toys when you go and pay money for things. This is the word idea. You have an idea, that's a thought. This is the word I, like your I that you see with. And I always remember how to spell this one because it looks like two eyes and a nose. Okay, this is the word sign. Remember earlier in the year we learned I-G-H makes that long I sound. Well, when we see I-G-N, it's going to say I. -N. So this is sign. You might see a sign on the side of the road or you might sign your name on a paper. And then this one is the word island. We learned about islands when we studied our um, landforms. Sorry, guys. And that is a silent S. It looks like is land. Is land, but it's island. Okay? So you're going to use those words to complete workbook page 63 today. Write spelling words to complete each sentence or definition. You're going to use your spelling words. Okay? When you're finished with that, for your spelling homework grade, you are going to log on to spellingcity.com and do an activity from the assigned activities, guys. Make sure you're clicking on the ones that I have assigned, okay, so that you get credit for it. All right, so that is part of your spelling grade. For reading, you're going to read chapter 27 this week. Last week we read all about how Oswald invited the kids to the birthday party and um, Cass told him she couldn't go because her friend Anna persuaded her not to. So to this week we're going to read about that word persuasion. That's our first story. Okay, so you're going to read all about persuasion. This is the word persuade, all right? And Miss Blossom's going to tell them. And we did this earlier in the year when we wrote persuasive letters about wanting something from our parents, all right? So you guys are going to read your persuasion today and then write, remember to write with complete sentences. What does persuasion mean? 
you need to say persuasion means or to persuade someone means. When is persuasion a good thing? When is it not a good thing? Okay, so you need to think about that. Miss Blossom talks to the kids about that. All right, we are not going to do a book study this week. We're going to take a week off from that. You instead are going to be reading your AR book during your free time, making sure you're taking AR tests. Guys, you will be getting a grade at the end of the quarter on AR, and you need to have, we're going to do three book study books, and then you need to have at least three other books that you read, depending if it's a chapter book, I'll talk to you about that, but if it's shorter books, you should have read at least three others. You need to make at least 50% of your goals, so log into AR and make sure that you are doing that, okay? I already have a couple kids who've made 100% of their goals, so I'm super proud of them. All right, for math, place value to 1,000 unit, this is our review today. It's really important that you guys pay attention to this and that you send me a picture when you're finished so that I can look it over and see if you're doing something incorrectly because you will be taking your math test tomorrow. So I'll have a separate video to go through your math lesson with you. For science, we have wrapped up our animal unit. We will be sharing our dioramas tonight at 7 p.m. on Zoom as a test grade. So you guys need to all log in so we can share those. For science, you're going to read all about plants, Unit 4. It's our first lesson. I'm going to have a separate video on that where I will read that with you guys and we'll have some discussion. And then in social studies, when you pick up your packet, you're each going to have a folder in it and it'll have a sticker with your name on it. They're your folders from earlier in the year. And I've put together a social studies economics unit. So we're going to be doing this, a separate video on this, and I'll walk you guys through this, okay? All right, guys, if you have any questions, I will be on Zoom at 10 a.m. If not, I'll see you tonight.